What is the best way to replenish electrolytes? That's what I'm answering in today's Ask Yuri. Ask Yuri, you've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. All right, guys, welcome. I've got a question from April here on my Facebook page who uh, is asking, hey, Yuri, can you tell us what you think is the best source for replenishing electrolytes? Okay, so electrolytes are what we lose when we sweat, kind of like sodium, chloride, stuff like that, potassium. Um, and these are very important because if we lose electrolytes, uh, we, our cells kind of lose their ability to create action potentials, which are the basis of communication, muscular contraction, and, and all that great stuff that we need in order to survive. So what is the best thing to do? So yesterday, I actually had a soccer game in like scorching heat. It was so hot that we had to take a, a break halfway between each half. So like not half time, but like a half time in the half to, to take a water break. Okay, that's how hot it was. Now I, I sweat profusely and I'm a goalie, so I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and I'm just like drenched. So I knew this was gonna be this, this scenario ahead of time. So what I did is I did the following two things. I had a bottle of water. And in my bottle of water, I use a bottle of trace minerals. And trace minerals are just these electrolytes that we're talking about. And I get them at my naturopath. You can find them at any health food store probably. It's a trace mineral kind of solution. And you just drop a, a couple drops into the water and that raises the electrolyte presence in the water. So instead of just drinking water, now you're drinking water with electrolytes in them. So just awesome for hydration. So that's the first, I had one water bottle with that. And then I had another water bottle which had my natural Gatorade or my natural sports drink in it. So that is basically water, uh, maple syrup. So I'll give you the exact recipe. It's 500 milliliters of water, three tablespoons of maple syrup, just you know for the sugar, obviously to kind of sustain performance. And then I put in a, like a good teaspoon of uh, coarse sea salt into there, some lemon and lime juice stir it all up and then I kept it very cold with a bunch of ice. It's very, very important to understand if you're working out in the heat, not only do you need hydration, but it needs to be very cold so you reduce your core temperature. Okay, so there's no point in drinking hot water because <laughs> in the heat, it's not gonna help you much. So that's what I do. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Gatorade and Powerade and the commercially available sports drinks because they're just loaded with artificial colors. And that's, you know, it's not the greatest thing. If there's no other solution, then, you know, a Gatorade is fine, but there is another solution. Commercially, it's uh, coconut water. Coconut water is the perfect uh, combination of uh, water, or it's basically it's the exact solution that our, our body has interstitially in terms of our fluid, in terms of electrolyte balance and basic sugars. So coconut water is awesome, or you can just use the two uh, little concoctions that I just recommended for you. Last resort would be a commercially available sports drink. So that's the best way to replenish your electrolytes. And um, again, if you're exercising in the heat, you'll probably notice that you have an increased craving for salt afterwards. So there's no problem with adding some good quality sea salt into your post-workout stuff, shake, smoothies, whatever, uh, meals, you know, just add in some salt because it's very, very important for recovery and overall health, okay? Salt is not the bad guy, okay? The wrong type of salt can be the bad guy, but sea salt is, is, is fine. So uh, hopefully that answers your question. And if you guys have any other questions, don't forget to join me on Facebook. Below is the link somewhere. And uh, ask me your question on my Facebook wall, and I look forward to answering it in an upcoming video.